Hello everyone, for this tutorial video I like to discuss more complicated equations producible to quadratic form that typically involve roots or radicals. For example, if we are given this, it looks impossible to solve using methods we already know, but if we are careful in our reasoning, we can see that we can get rid of the square root eventually and also get a quadratic expression in standard form at the same time by first doing both sides squared. But we see the problem is that we made it more complicated than necessary. So what we first have to do before squaring both sides is get the square root by itself. So that way, when we square both sides, the square root goes away completely with no additional factors introduced, like so. We see the square root and squared cancel out on the left hand side and all we get is the equation under the root, but the right hand side is more complicated and turns into a quadratic expression. We get this into standard form by subtracting and adding terms from the left hand side so that the left hand side ends up as zero, and then solve the quadratic equation. However, it is important, especially with problems involving roots, to double check all of our answers because we remember that square roots cannot have negative values, even if quadratic expressions can. So we will have to test both of our answers. When we do this, we get 4 plus the square root of 4 minus 4 equals 4. The square root of 4 minus 4 goes away. We get 4 equals 4. So 4 is a valid answer. And we try 5, and we see 5 plus the square root of 5 minus 4 equals 5 plus the square root of 1 equals 6, and 6 is not equal to 4. So this solution, although technically correct because of the method we derived, is not correct with reference to the original problem asked. So it is important to never assume that just because you did all of your work properly, all of your answers are valid. More often than not, they are actually not because of the odd way that square roots behave versus quadratic expressions. And this is an unfortunate fact of life we will have to get adjusted to when solving problems involving roots. Now that we have figured out how to solve problems involving roots that are more complicated than involving the square root property directly, we can move on to discussing systems next, which are sets of equations rather than simply one equation where you also have to solve for multiple variables at the same time instead of simply one variable, which would not be possible if we had only one equation. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this video informative, and make sure to see other tutorial videos, and follow me on either Facebook or Twitter for more content.